Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Which VR headset should you buy in 2024? Coming up on today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Welcome back. Today we're gonna to talk about two of the mainstream high-end VR headsets that we have available to us in the market today. By the end of this video, my hope is that we will be able to come to a conclusion as to which headset will be a more viable purchase in 2024. Today we're gonna to do a head-to-head -head versus challenge between the Vario Aero and the Pimax Crystal. We're gonna compare things like screen resolution, field of view, comfort, clarity, colors, tracking, audio, software, and software adjustability. And lastly, the most important thing to consider when making your decision is gonna be price. Now for an added bonus, anyone watching the video today, February 4th, 2024, until the date of February 10th, 2024, I have a special price for the Pimax Crystal Sim Edition only available here on 2020 Flight Simmers. Now, I didn't want to give this away just yet in the video, but I will. For $12.99, you will get the Pimax Crystal Sim by using the coupon code down below in the description. But wait, there's more! <laughs> Anyone purchasing the Pimax Crystal Sim with my coupon code during this time frame, you will also receive a free pair of DMAS speakers with your order. Now, no need to add those to your cart, they will automatically be added when you use the coupon code down below. Now, if you have any comments or questions throughout today's video, leave them down below in the comments section and I'll get right back with you. And if you enjoyed today's content, be sure to hit that subscribe, click on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. Ladies and gentlemen, from Mandalay Bay, Las Vegas, uh, let's get The first thing that we're going to go over is screen resolution. The screen resolution of the Vario Aero is 2880 by 2720. The Crystal, on the other hand, the screen resolution is 2880 by 2880. The tick for this category goes to the Pimax Crystal. The next thing we're going to go over is screen brightness. Now, this is going to be the backlighting of the individual displays on each headset. For the Vario Aero, we come in at 150 nits, and the brightness on the Pimax is 200 nits. So, for this category, the Pimax gets a tick. The next category is Field of View. Now, this is going to be a big one. The Field of View on the Vario Aero is 115 degrees. The Field of View on the Pimax Crystal is 125 degrees. Now there is also another slight difference in field of view. And that is when you look through the Vario Aero, it's almost like you're looking at a letterbox screen. With the Pimax Crystal on the other hand, you can just about look to the very top of your lens and have full view. So that's a big check mark for the Pimax Crystal. The next topic I think is gonna be a little controversial and that is comfort. Now I've done a full review series of the Pimax Crystal. I'll leave links for that down below in the description. In the first episode of that, I compared the two of these headsets together from weight as well as comfort and how they fit on your head. So for me personally, I have a very narrow head and kind of egg shaped. So VR headsets are kind of hit or miss on what fits on my head. I also don't wear glasses, so that's gonna be another big thing. One thing I did like about the Aero is that it came factory with a top head strap, and I think that makes a big difference in balancing the headset on your head. But the other thing that I noticed with the Vario Aero, the actual face portion of this is very narrow. So if you have kind of a wider head or you wear glasses, you might find that this is gonna be really pressing on your temples on each side. Now, with the Pimax Crystal, on the other hand, this is going to be great for people that wear glasses or have a bigger head than I do. But on the Pimax Crystal, I had to add some weather stripping on the inside 
to accommodate for the variances in my head. The other thing that I added with the Pimax crystal is a top strap right here. Pimax has also made some changes and now offer an adjustable top head strap. It's very similar to the Vario Aero over here. As far as the weight is concerned with the headset, the Pimax headset has got a good balance of front to back. It is still a little bit front heavy, and I would suggest to make it more comfortable using a weight pack on the back, maybe 100 grams or so. As far as the Vario, of course, this is still going to be front heavy, but the way that they have placed this head strap makes it uh, very comfortable, at least on my head. So for the category of comfort, I have to go with the Vario Aero on this just because it fits me better from the factory. After I've made all these improvements to the Pimax, on the other hand, this one fits me very well now, and I can wear this for several hours with no issues. Enough said with that, let's move on to the next topic, and that's going to be the colors inside of the headset. For this, I've also done a through the lens video on the Pimax Crystal. I was not able to get one on the Vario Aero, unfortunately, but keep in mind, if you do watch the through the lens footage, these lenses inside of VR headsets are made for our eyes and not for a camera lens. So when it comes to the colors, I have to give it to the Pimax Crystal on this one. The other thing that I want to talk about when it comes to the colors and the screen is the local dimming that is available on the Pimax Crystal. Now, I know it's not perfect, but it is better than not having local dimming at all. The next thing that kind of goes along with colors is color shift. Anybody that has the Vario Aero knows you have a huge color shift issue with the red and blue colors. Now they've been trying to fix this problem since they created this and put it out in the consumer market, but even to today, it still has a color shift issue which is why Matt, the creator of OpenXR Toolkit, actually has implemented a setting in there called CA Correction to eliminate the color shifting in the Vario Aero. Pimax Crystal, on the other hand, zero color shift, and it just really is a beautiful image. Now, when you get a color shift, for those people who don't understand what color shift is, to get a particular color on your screen, it's going to mix colors to get the desired effect on your screen. Now, what can happen, especially in white writing, I find this a lot, anything that has white writing on it, you will really see that color shift. And you will actually see the blue color pull away from the white and giving you kind of a ghosting effect or a blurring effect. And it really makes it hard to read the writing because you don't have a real crisp image. So I hope I kind of explain that right with color shifting. For that, we're gonna give the tick to Pimax. Next thing we're gonna talk about is tracking. The tracking on both of these headsets are very different from each other. The tracking on the Vario Aero uses lighthouses or base stations. What the base stations do is they have a little LiDAR sensor in them that's spinning and that is continually monitoring your headset. Now with those sensors come a little bit of extra maintenance. One, you can't leave these things running all the time or you will burn out the motors. And two, the other limitation is they have to see the headset when you are gaming. If they lose sight of the headset, you lose all of your tracking. So when it comes to the tracking, I always recommend two base stations for any of the Lighthouse tracked headsets. Now for me, the way I do it on my setup when I'm gonna use the Vario is I will set the base stations about 45 degrees off center. Now this is done on purpose so that when I'm turning my head, from side to side, those base stations will always be able to pick up my headset, even when I'm turning past 90 degrees. If you need to look behind yourself, then you might want to put one base station in front and one base station in back, or use a combination of three. Again, that adds to the cost, which we will go over at the very end. As far as the Pimax Crystal is concerned, it uses inside out tracking. Now, inside-out tracking hasn't been too reliable in past years, but I will say on the Pimax Crystal headset, the tracking is very, very good. You don't get any jumping around like we used to do with the HP Reverb G2. So for people who don't understand inside-out tracking, 
The way they do this is they put individual cameras on the headset itself. And then as you're moving around your play space, it is monitoring all of your movements and then translating that inside the headset. Now, the other cool thing that Pimax does here is if you are a person that loves base stations, you have to have base stations, we can do that too. You can also order a faceplate for this to be able to integrate with your base stations. But wait, there's more. You can also use your Valve Index controllers when you do that. If you're not using the faceplate to use with the base stations, you will have to use the controllers that are available for the Pimax Crystal. So as far as the tracking is concerned, I gotta give the win to the Pimax Crystal. The next thing that I would like to go over is audio quality or audio hardware that come with the headsets. We're gonna start with the Vario Aero first because I think this is almost laughable. When the Vario Aero first came out, this headset was a $2,000 headset. They've dropped the price to $990, had a lot of people speculating that a version two was gonna be coming around the corner. We'll talk more about that towards the end of the video as well. But what they didn't really think about when they created this headset was audio. This is the audio that they felt was worthy of a $2,000 headset. Probably about 15 bucks on Amazon. And actually a $15 pair would probably be better than these. Now let's talk about the audio solution for the Pimax Crystal. Now once again, if you are purchasing the Pimax Crystal during this one week period, using my code down in the description, you will get these awesome DMAS speakers that they're gonna throw in for free for your Pimax Crystal. Now these things are very similar to the Valve Index, to the HP Reverb G2. All of your speakers are so much better than in earbuds. It gives you more spatial awareness. It actually gives you more immersion in the cockpit. And the other thing that it really does well is give you the bass that you cannot get in earbuds. If you are purchasing the Pimax Crystal out of this one week period, I would suggest using my coupon code down below in the description as you will get some off of your purchase. What they are offering with the Pimax Crystal now is the S-Mass speakers. The S-Mass speakers are going to be a hundred times better than you'll get with this. All right, so the next thing I wanna go over is the software that we have available for the Vario Aero, as well as the Pimax software. We'll start with the Vario Aero first. The actual software is very nice. I'm not gonna talk bad about the software. It, it really works flawlessly. The problem that I have with the software is it's not that customizable. So I'll put up a couple screenshots here to allow you to take a look at both of the softwares for these. But as you'll notice on the Vario software, we have very minimal things that we can adjust. Now, on the other hand, with the Pimax Crystal, we have a plethora of adjustments that we can do. From colors, fixed foveated rendering, we can adjust settings for individual games or simulators. There's so many things that we have the capability to adjust with the Pimax Crystal. I have to give this category to the Pimax Crystal, and they are continually updating their software. The next thing I wanna talk about is versatility on each of these sets. Now with the Vario Aero, this is specifically a PC VR headset and it must be tethered using a cable to the headset. Now this cable is connected directly into a display port, so that is no issue. You get great clarity, there is no compression because of that. Now on the other hand, the Pimax Crystal is also a PC VR headset, but it has one trick up its sleeve that the Vario Aero doesn't have. Now I'm not sure if I can get this on camera, but right here in the corner of your headset, you have a button here to switch between standalone mode and PC VR mode. Now what that's gonna do for you is give you an untethered experience to be able to use your headset as your computer because it has the updated Snapdragon processor in it. And that's why we need to have a battery on the back of it because that processor 
takes so much power, but it gives you more versatility in the headset. Now, Pimax has also come out with a new wireless link that they've unveiled at the CES this year. Also be able to use the Pimax Crystal in PC VR mode without any cables. <laughs> so that's really going to be interesting once that is released. So for the versatility category, the check is going to go to the Crystal. Lastly, the most important and final thing that we're going to go over is the price. So first, let's go over the price of the Arrow. Now keep in mind here, I'm using the mindset of a first-time VR purchaser. If you already have purchased a Valve Index or something, this price comparison is probably not going to be as accurate for you because you already have base stations. So with that being said, let me lay out some prices for you. The base price of the Vario Aero currently is $990 or 990 euros, depending on where you're located. The second part of that is you can't buy the Vario Aero from Vario anymore. They don't have it. Why? Because they discontinued it. After four years, I guess they decided they were out of the consumer space. And uh, everybody that paid $2,000 for this headset, well, we're going to stop providing any future updates to the software after 2025. Great job, Vario. Thanks. So now let's move on with the price breakdown. We have $990 for the headset. Remember I was talking about earlier about tracking. You need to have base stations. Now, yes, you can get away with one base station and put it right in front of you. And then as soon as I look left or right, it loses your tracking. Yeah, you can do that. But honestly, to get the same comparable tracking as the crystal, you need to have at least two base stations. Now, if you price out these base stations, if you go on the Steam website, you could pick up a base station for $149. So you're looking at about 300 bucks for two base stations. If you're unlucky and not able to purchase these on Steam for that price, you may have to resort to Amazon. On Amazon now, they're going for $199 a piece. So you're looking at $400 for two of those base stations. Now let's add up the prices. We have the base price of 990. We have the Steam version of the base stations for 300. You're looking at 1288 plus tax to purchase this headset. Now if you're the unlucky one and you have to get your base stations from Amazon, you're now looking at 1388 for this headset. Now there's one more thing that I talked about earlier and that's the audio. You're never going to get the same quality of audio. So now if you want to upgrade from this audio to like an off ear or one of those bone headsets that that kind of vibrate through your your temples, you could do that or something that lays across your around your neck and you have speakers coming from there. You know, there's other options, but to really get the same quality, you're looking at another hundred dollars added to that twelve eighty eight or thirteen eighty eight price. So you could now be up to about fourteen eighty eight or just about fifteen hundred dollars to get into this headset that you are not going to have any updates past twenty twenty five. Now let's turn our attention to the Pimax Crystal. Pimax Crystal is pretty simple, twelve ninety nine. You get what you see here. Now, since the Pimax has been released, they have also offered a new facial gasket that is thicker to help compensate for irregularities in smaller heads like mine. So again, for $12.99, the Pimax Crystal Sim without the controllers because the Vario Aero does not come with controllers. So we're trying to do an apples to apples comparison. If you purchase this within the week that I've stated above, you will also get the awesome DMAS speakers. 
Hey, and if you don't, you will still get better audio than what comes with this in way of the S-Mass speakers on the Pimax Crystal Sim. All right, so my final conclusion. What do I recommend you buy in 2024? Now, one thing I'm not going to do is deviate from any of my other reviews and recommend that you purchase something. But what I will do is recommend that you don't purchase something that is no longer available from the manufacturer that they have openly said that they're discontinuing and that you will no longer have any future updates to the software. With that only leaves one other option that's sitting here on the table. I won't say it. Use your own judgment. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below in the comment section and I'll get right back with you. If you enjoyed today's content, make sure you hit that subscribe, click on that little bell and smash that thumbs up button. To all my flight simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up, and we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.